Disney Pixar Incredibles 2. The Incredibles were a family of supers. When a machine started ripping up the city, they sprang into action. While Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl tried to stop it, their kids Violet and Dash grabbed baby Jack-Jack. Their friend Frozone joined in the fight. The Incredibles stopped the machine, but got in big trouble. Supers were not allowed to use their powers. Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl had no choice but to return to their undercover lives as Bob and Helen Parr, along with their kids. But then a wealthy businessman named Winston Dever and his sister Evelyn proposed a plan to make supers legal again. Elastigirl would get the first assignment. She was nervous, but this was her chance to help her family and all supers. Winston was so excited to work with Elastigirl, he allowed her, her whole family to stay in one of his mansions. Dash loved it. He used a remote control to move the floors and turn on the waterfalls. On Elastigirl's first day at her new job, she spotted a runaway train. She hopped onto her Elasticycle and chased the train through the city. She scrambled over rooftops, zoomed up a crane, and zipped through a tunnel, till finally she stretched into a parachute and slowed down the train right before it ran off the tracks. Back at home, Bob was exhausted. Helping with homework, changing diapers, and dealing with teenage drama really knocked him out. While Bob was napping, Jack Jack watched TV. Then he heard a noise in the backyard. It was an intruder. Jack Jack tried to stop the criminal. Bob heard the commotion and ran outside. He couldn't believe his eyes. You have powers. The next day, the city buzzed with the news of Elastigirl's amazing rescue. During her first TV interview, a supervillain called the Screen Slaver attacked. He took over an ambassador's helicopter. Elastigirl raced off and rescued the ambassador. Elastigirl still needed to catch the screen slaver. With Evelyn's help, she traced the villain's signal to his lair. She chased him through the building and captured him. But something didn't feel right. Elastigirl realized she'd caught the wrong person. Evelyn Dever was the real screen slaver. Evelyn wanted to destroy her brother's plan and make sure supers were never legal again. In a flash, Evelyn put hypno-goggles hypno on Elastigirl. She was under Evelyn's spell. Meanwhile, Bob needed some serious help with Jack-Jack. The baby's powers were uncontrollable. Bob brought him to the smartest person he knew, Edna Mode. Edna made a special super suit and tracker to help manage Jack Jack's powers. Everything was finally calm at home. Then Evelyn called and said Elastigirl was in trouble. Bob asked Frozone to watch the kids and then rushed away. When Mr. Incredible arrived at the Dever's ship, a hypnotized Elastigirl pounced on him. She fought him until she could put hypno-goggles over his eyes. Meanwhile, a group of hypnotized supers arrived to capture the kids. Frozone showed up just in time to help. Dash clicked a remote and zoom, the amazing incredible pulled up. It whisked the kids away while Frozone was captured by the supers. The Incredibles brought the kids to the ship. But where was Jack-Jack? Dash and Violet were tracking the lost brother when a hypnotized super attacked. Violet flung razor-sharp force fields at the super until she and Dash could escape. Everyone on board was under Evelyn's wicked spell. She forced the supers to set the ship on a crash course towards the city. Suddenly the kids appeared. 
They freed their parents and Frozone from the hypnosis. The family was ready to fight together. The Incredibles and Frozone battled the rest of the hypnotized supers. Before long, everyone was back to normal. Then Evelyn tried to escape. Elastigirl chased after her. Evelyn was a fierce opponent, but she was no match for Elastigirl. All the supers worked together to keep the ship from crashing into the city center. They turned the ship around, stopping it just before it reached the shore. Everyone was grateful to the supers. The city changed the law, making it legal for them to use their powers again. Now the Incredibles were ready to face any challenges as a family. The end.